Post-galvanizing, there are a few things that can impact the appearance of the zinc coating. After hot dip galvanizing, steel parts are inspected for conformance to the specifications. Some touch-up and repair practices can lead to differences in appearance. Other coating appearance changes can be discovered after exposure to the environment. After galvanizing, it is common to inspect the steel for any surface inconsistencies, such as runs, drips, or spikes. If any buildup or protrusions are found which do not conform to the specification requirements, the coating is filed by hand or with the use of grinders, which can leave visible marks on the coating. These marks tend to fade over time as the steel weathers and are not a cause for rejection if the final product meets the specification requirements governing coating thickness. During inspection, small voids or coating defects may be observed in the galvanized finish. To ensure the galvanized coating's long-term corrosion protection, it is required to touch up these areas according to ASTM A780. There are three acceptable materials for touch-up, zinc-based solders, zinc-rich paint, or zinc spray metallizing. These materials produce a wide variety of appearances from shiny to matte. Matching their appearance to the surrounding galvanized coating can be difficult. Furthermore, the galvanized coating appearance will change and darken as it weathers. Zinc solder and metallizing will weather similarly to the galvanized coating, but zinc-rich paints will maintain their initial appearance. To achieve a uniform appearance over time, Zinc-rich paint can be selected to match the fully weathered color of galvanized steel instead of the initial or brighter appearance common for newly galvanized steel. If matching appearance is important, such as in architecturally exposed structural steel projects, it is best practice to discuss touch-up material selection with the galvanizer. Certain steel fabrications, such as hollow structural, require vent holes to galvanize successfully. After galvanizing, these holes can be left open or filled with zinc or aluminum plugs. Plugs are pressed into the holes and filed flat to seal the holes. However, like touch-up materials, these plugs may have a different appearance than the surrounding galvanized coating. Improperly stored galvanized steel can develop wet storage stain. Wet storage stain occurs when newly galvanized surfaces are exposed to moisture without free-flowing air. This can lead to zinc oxide and zinc hydroxide buildup, leaving white powdery deposits on the steel. Light or medium wet storage stain does not impact the expected life of the product and will weather out once installed or stored with exposure to airflow. The presence of heavy wet storage stain requires cleaning and should be evaluated for repair or regalvanizing. Another coating appearance that can occur post-galvanizing is brown staining. Some galvanized coatings form without a free zinc layer leaving intermetallic layers of zinc and iron exposed on the surface. Brown staining forms when free iron that did not fully bond with the zinc reacts with moisture in the environment and discolors the galvanized coating. The staining looks similar to corrosion. To distinguish brown staining from rust, simply test the area with a magnetic thickness gauge. If the gauge registers a zinc coating thickness, it is purely an aesthetic concern and the corrosion resistance is unaffected. Most of these post-galvanizing coating appearance concerns are aesthetic. However, if the imperfections affect the corrosion resistance of the galvanized coating, they must be remedied. Other factors that can impact hot dip galvanized steel's appearance are examined in the corresponding videos of this series.